Now in this lesson, we have four steps we have to deal with. So here's our target. And the important thing we have to remember is we have to match the formula and the face. So we have to be careful here. So looking at our first one, we have, looks like everything is, is good because our two aluminums match. And uh, we have two aluminum chlorides. Now they don't match the phase, but so we may have to deal with that, but the aluminum solids do match. So I'm just gonna copy that down. Two aluminum solids. I may have to erase in a little bit, and you know what, ooh, that's okay if we have to do that. Sometimes that's just what trial and error is about. Making two AlCl3 aqueous plus three H2. <coughs> yes, all right, so let's just copy that. 1049 kilojoules. Okay, next, HCl gas to HCl aqueous. Um, I'm not entirely sure what to do with that yet, um, but it's not anywhere in the target, is it? So notice though that HCl aqueous is here and here. So it's not in the target, so we need to get rid of it. So why don't we do that? So if I wanna cancel it, I want it here on the reactant side. So here I need it on the product side, but I have six of them. So let's multiply this by six. So that gives me six HCl gas and six HCl aqueous. And now we multiply that by six, so let's do the same thing to delta H. Negative 74.8, let's multiply it by six. Negative 448.8. Okay, I'm trying to line up my arrows. Next, I have H2, Cl2, and HCl gas. All right, so I have Cl2, this is my only source of Cl2, and it's gotta be here. So I gotta multiply this by three, whole thing by three. So that's gonna give me three H2, three Cl2, and that's gonna make six HCl gas. And I multiplied that by three, so I need to multiply the delta H by three. That gives me a big number, negative 5535. Now I have aluminum chloride solid and aqueous, so now I have to deal with that. So in my target, I have, I'm looking for solid. So this needs to be solid. So I need to flip it and I need to multiply it by two. So we're gonna do it times two and we're gonna flip it. Okay, so I'm gonna rewrite it. That's gonna give me AlCl3, two AlCl3 aqueous and two AlCl3 solid. All right, so now I need to take negative 323, multiply by negative one to flip the sign and multiply by negative two, or by two. So that gives me a positive 646. All right, so let's see how we did and let's compare things now. All right, so I have two aluminum solids, nowhere else, two aluminum solids. Six HCl aqueous. So remember we have to match formula and phase. Two AlCl3 aqueous. Three H2s, three H2s. Six HCl gases three Cl2s and two AlCl3 solids. Do we match two Al solids, three Cl2 gases, two AlCl3 solids? Great, let's add all these up now. Negative 1049, we'll see if I can push buttons correctly, plus negative 448.8 plus negative 5535 plus 646. All right, so I got a huge number. 
negative 6386.8. And that's already in kilojoules, so that's huge. All right, so that's the last one.